How is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another uh, building and pricing cars I can afford video and today uh, I actually only decided to really film this video because of the recent review I just did on the 2018 Aston Martin DB11. Now the one that I drove was the V8 version of the DB11. Uh, today I'm probably going to be doing a building and pricing on the V12. But if you haven't watched that video already, I definitely highly suggest that you do because it's a really amazing car and honestly it was a car that I had a lot of fun filming and driving. But as you can see right here, uh, it kind of shows you the initial specs of the DB11. You have the V8 version, the Volante, which I guess is just the convertible, and then the V12 version. And then if you go into the configurator, obviously DB11 V12 Coupe. First, we have the paint section, and in the paint, we have all the different blacks and grays, the purples and blues, the greens, the reds, bronzes and oranges, and silvers and white. And I mean, it's just so many different options. The one that I reviewed was a silver. Quite frankly, I don't know which silver. I actually think it was the lightning silver, so it looks like this. But yeah, there's just so many different options for this car. It's honestly amazing. Uh, but today, I think we're going to be going for like a British Racing Green. Probably going to stick with this Buckinghamshire Green. Sorry if I said that wrong. Also, probably like a black or a dark gray would look amazing with this car. I mean, the one that I reviewed in person was that Lightning Silver, I believe. So that looked great as well. Uh, some of the bronzes and the oranges, I honestly don't really get. I feel like... I don't know, me personally, if I owned a DB11, I wouldn't get it in one of those colors. But today, I'm definitely going to stick with the Buckinghamshire Green. And then moving on, you actually have different body packages or exterior packages, that I should say. You have the gloss black lower body package and the carbon fiber lower body package. So I'm assuming that's just the trim around the bottom of the car. Definitely going to keep that on, uh, you know, carbon fiber. And then for the top of the car, you have the body colored package, gloss black package, and of course the carbon fiber package. It's already on the carbon fiber package and I'm definitely going to keep it on there just because I love the look of exposed carbon fiber. And then for the grill in the front, you have a bright finish, which is like this very kind of light silver, almost chrome finish on the front grill. And then you have the dark finish with the all blacked out grill. I honestly really like how the kind of like light grill looks, but because I'm going with like the dark green and just like the, with the black wheels and the dark green uh, body color, I feel like the blacked out grill looks amazing. So I'm gonna stick with that. And now moving on to the roof, you can have a body colored roof, a gloss black roof, which is the standard option or a carbon fiber roof. I'm actually going to go for the carbon fiber roof just because there's exposed carbon fiber around the lower body as well. And then they give you four options for the wheels. Now I am going to run through and show you guys uh, these four options, but honestly, I feel like the one that they gave me, this last one right here, the blacked out, it looks more like gloss black than, uh, you know, matte black. But I, I feel like Again, just that with the black accents on the car already looks is going to look amazing. And then for brake calipers, you can have the gray brake calipers, black, uh, red, silver, yellow, and then bronze. It's already on the bronze. The bronze doesn't look bad, but I'm definitely going to probably go for one of the blacks or the maybe the dark gray. And you know what? I'm actually I'm going to go for the black just because I like how it blends in and matches the wheels. And then for the taillights, you can opt for the regular like red taillights or the smoked taillights, which almost look like they're white when they're turned off. Personally, I love how modern day supercars have that like smoked taillights option where it's like a white lens or a black lens. So I'm going to go with that. That's also the standard option to begin with. And now moving on to the interior. Uh, obviously the customization with this car is just insane. I mean that like that was just the exterior So I'm gonna try to fly through the interior But you could see like all the different colors that you have available and personally when I was driving this car uh, The interior for these cars is another thing. That's just absolutely amazing I mean, it's so comfortable you can tell like these seats how they're ribbed like in real life It just looks so so damn awesome and I actually think I'm going to go for this Oxford tan. It looks like a 
kind of baseball glove leather, you know, color. So I'm definitely gonna go for that because I feel like that looks great with the darker green. And it's absolutely amazing because you even have 12 options for the headliner. Um, because I'm doing the Oxford Tan interior, I'm just going to match the headliner with Oxford Tan. I, me personally, I feel like the only kind of acceptable thing to do with the headliner is to either keep it black or to match it the color of the interior. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do with the uh, um, you know the Oxford Tan. And then the stitching matches to the primary color, which is that dark green. The steering wheel stitching, you can have in five different uh, stitching colors. Uh, I'm probably just gonna stick to the black, honestly. And also the carpet, you can change. I'm probably going to leave it black, although I will switch it over to Oxford Tan to just kind of get a look at it. And it looks like you can't really get a good look at it, so I'll just keep it at black, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. I mean, I feel like this is just so intricate. And even for the different steering wheels, there's five different options for actual physical steering wheels, which is amazing. So you have the GT wheel that's heated, a sports wheel, a sports wheel with Alcantara, sports wheel with carbon fiber, and then sports wheel with carbon fiber and Alcantara. I'm probably gonna go for that just because I feel like that is just so damn awesome. And you could tell like with the other, like this regular sports wheel, uh, you get the actual Oxford tan color uh, so that is one thing that I don't really like, but I absolutely love the exposed carbon fiber and even switching it over to that. Okay, actually, you know what? I like that better. So that is the sports wheel with carbon fiber option and without the Al Alcantara and the actual leather around the outside matches that Oxford tan. I think that looks just so damn amazing. And then for this little trim and lay on the, um, you know, mill of the car, I believe the one that I drove actually had the satin chopped carbon option. So I'm going to do that just because it looked so, so good. Uh, but you know what? I actually might go for the carbon weave simply because that will match the steering wheel. And honestly, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I'm going to stick with the satin chopped carbon just because I, I saw that in person in the DB11 that I drove and it just looked so amazing. And now moving on to the personalization section of this uh, building and pricing video, you can even change the badging so you can have the regular kind of Aston Martin logo or you can have the black chrome badges. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do that. I feel like with the dark green, like that, that's just gonna look so awesome. And you can also buy a four piece luggage set to match your Aston Martin, which me personally, I mean, I don't know if I do that or not, honestly, if, if I ever bought an Aston Martin, like if I ever got to that level to actually buy something like this, I, I would honestly say screwed and just get the four piece luggage set to match my car. All right guys, so now moving on to the summary, that is the exterior shot of the car. Again, like I kind of went for a blacked out theme with this car. Obviously it has the dark green Buckinghamshire you know, paint color. Um, but black accents all the way around, the exposed carbon fiber, all those options, and then the nice light Oxford tan interior with the carbon fiber trim in the interior as well along the steering wheel and the center trim right there. And now scrolling down, you obviously have the different one year or two year you know, service, kind of warranty or service contract, uh, but you can kind of pause the video. You can see the paint color, all the different options, 20 inch uh, blacked out wheels, blacked out paint calipers, the smoke taillights, Oxford tan interior. And that is pretty much it. All this stuff is all kind of standard already in the DB11. So like most other, you know, supercar brands, they don't really give you a price summary, but I did just search up the 2021 DB11 V12 price. And this is the base MSRP, so right under 250 thousand us dollars so you can honestly imagine how much this cost i would say i mean i didn't do an insane amount of adding with the options but uh i would probably have to say that something like this like this exact car would be anywhere between 270 to even close to 290 uh and then after you know fees dealership fees uh shipment fees and all that stuff uh, you're looking at something like under 300,000 US dollars, which honestly, in my opinion, is just absolutely crazy. So 
Anyways, guys, a like always. Thank you for all the support. Definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, again, definitely be sure to check out the full review I did on a 2018 DB11, as well as the POV driving video of that same exact car that I also posted on my channel like this past week. But anyways, guys, like always, thank you for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.